What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Thank you so much for tuning in. It's me, Mikey Pipes with Peter Pipes. Today's Monday, November 6th, 2023. On our way to a service call in North Belmore. Customer has a Burnham ES2 gas fired boiler that twice, not once, but twice, blew the cover off the front of the boiler. <laughs> I swear you can't make this stuff up. Kind of like this. It yes. exploded in my face, too. It exploded like, in your face? My dad was like, my dad came over and was like, oh, it's fine. I open it, I turn it on, it's fine. Shut it off, turn it on again, and I'm like looking, boom! It's like an M81 in front of my face. It's kind of like, interesting. You have little. I'm done. Yeah, it's, little bits of carbon. And it smells weird. Even the boiler guy's like, yeah, it smells a little... You have little bits of carbon on here. Yeah, he said little carbonite. I don't know, man. I'm just... You, you, you guys... Let's see. Let's see if it's carbon. Well, we got some carbonization in there, that's for sure. All right, so customer's complaint is that the front cover of the boiler... Blew, oh, yeah, blew off twice. And we got a... We got a carbonization issue here. We really do have a carbonization issue here. All that little bits of soot here. No bueno. All right, took a couple burners out. Let's see what it looks like inside. Let's go to the video tape. Not terrible. Something's going on with this exploding boiler, though. But let's see if we can duplicate the problem. That'd be pretty epic, right? Be pretty cool. That'd be pretty cool. <laughs> no, not yet. I'm actually, I'm not going to let it actually blow up. But what I think is happening is we're having delayed, a delayed ignition. Now, we do need a call for heat. He needs to turn the thermostat up. What's up with that? It was a brush. Yeah. I don't get this though. STA 11. Yep. 18. Let's see what happens here. This pilot. Very long. That was like a sec. That was a second too long. I'll try again. Here's our flame. Not this time, though. No. Hmm. It's like the valve isn't stepping opening anymore. Keep trying that. Right. Third time's a charm. See, valve's open. I wonder if our orifices are uh, maybe a little dirty. Because it ignites all at once and it's not igniting slowly. Take four. See? There's the click. Hmm. All right, so we removed all of the brass orifices and cleaned them out. Also took a look at the pilot burner assembly, which this is how it came out. Obviously damaged. So we installed a new one. And something with delayed ignition here is going on. 
something with delayed ignition. Next, we're going to check gas pressure on that gas valve. So, we've got the new pilot burner assembly on, and we're going to reinstall the burners and then check some gas pressure. One other observation, and I, I don't think it's relevant, but it's not supposed to be here, paint. Okay, so just clear that out. Yeah. What? It's just what? It's, just it's, it's, it's a general rule. Okay. You're not supposed to. Yeah. Again, we're looking for something that could cause, you know, excessive gas in an area where, and again, I'm not saying paint is flammable, but it's a rule. Okay. Yeah, no. I would All right. Here we go. STA 18. Waiting for the damper to open. Then we're going to have STA 6 spark. We have pilot. There's gas valve opening. Uh, yeah, well, the pilot burner is brand new, so yeah. So let's turn off and let's turn back on. Let's see if we can do it again. Okay, that was STA 10 with the retry recycle delay, and we have ignition. So, customer feels that if we let this heat up, it may occur again. So, let's let it heat up. In the meantime, let's get the test up and do a combustion analysis. Sorry. Sorry. All right, so we have the Testo probe inside the back of the boiler. Still slowly climbing, 313 degrees stack temperature, 8.9% O2, 69 particles per million of carbon dioxide, parts per million. And then a gross efficiency of 83.2, CO2 of 6.73. So we haven't checked gas pressure yet, but that 74 is, 75 is higher than I would like it to be. So we have a temperature of about 150 degrees. And let's see. Hmm. Check those gas pressures. All right, so there's our inlet side of the gas. We're at 5.9 inches of water column. All right, and um, let's fire up and see what happens, see what that drops to. Okay, there's our pilot. Now keep in mind, I also have the water heater on right now. So we're working with 5.5. 5.6 inches of water column. All right, that's okay. Okay, now we're checking the outlet side of the gas valve. 2.26, let's see, there's the second stage, it's opened, 2.8, 2.7. Gas valve is not putting enough gas through it. 2.75. We need to be 3.5. Let's see. Um, manifold pressure. So we have a supply of max of 14, minimum of 4.5, and a manifold pressure of 3.5. And we're at 2.77. 2.77. So we need to see if we can increase pressure. All right, we made some adjustments. 3.4546, jumping around a little bit. Let's see if we can increase that just a hair more. All right, now we're 3.548352. Now we're hovering just above 3.5 inches. See what our test over reads now. All right, so it's spark. You hear the flame. Gas valve is opened and ignition. And right now, slow opening 2.15 inches, 2.5, 2.6, 3, 3.5, 3.4, 3.6. So 
delayed ignition or combustion air issues. So that window's open, that window's open, and wait and see. Gas pressure being too low could have affected, the, you know, could have caused delayed ignition because we're uh, not working with enough gas to ignite those main burners from the pilot. And we'll see. Oh, so, ooh, what are we doing? Is that flashing? No. Okay. Nice take with 007s.